in this video i have discussed about stem plots and scatter plot in matlab matlab so first we will define a signal so for sim uh, signal we first we will define the sampling instance suppose we are taking 100 samples then sampling frequency that is 100 and the frequency of the signal suppose we are taking 10 now we will define the signal y equals to sine pi into f into m divided by now we want uh, it a uh, stem plot like bar graph so just stem n by fs this n by fs is uh, made to make it the sampling in terms of the uh, seconds so, um, so here it is a stem plot for us and suppose we want to put the title stem plot and title is there stem plot similarly we can write x axis x level the label will be axis suppose we want to plot in the color red so just come uh, so this plot will be in red color now suppose uh, for closing uh, the whole windows or figures uh, whatever is opening we will use close or command so, it has been closed now we want to plot a scatter plot of it so for a scatter plot simply type a scatter okay first we will see let's see a scatter again n comma fs comma y so the scatter plot will be there this scatter plot is simply denoting the sampling instances at which we have taken the samples of the sine wave and generally this command is used to plot the feature vectors or two-dimensional feature vector in of any signal on which we want to apply the artificial intelligence now the next thing is uh, suppose we want another uh, feature vector in something uh, different color and different uh, and different uh, uh, display symbol will be different so just write the display symbol you whatever you want and then the color suppose green now the, all the scatters will be in green color and likewise uh, as in the others we want to like the title scatter plot and we want to label the x axis the same command will be used time in seconds label okay so here is label and this is a scatter plot that's it for this video thank you